Let's uh, get set for the starting lineups as uh, Dan Nacarano has those all down, and we'll get set to get going with those in just a second as uh, we're getting our usual fist bumps from all the officials that are calling the game here. And now we'll get set for your starting lineups. Here's Dan Nacarano. So it is senior night here at the Salt Hawk Activity Center, so we'll fill you in on the starters for the Hutchinson Salt Hawks. Second, and let's do the visitors from Salina South. First, they do come in at 9 and 8, coached by Ryan Stewart in his seventh year. His uh, career record is 45 and 99, so Coach Connor Riley in his first year would like to hand Ryan Stewart his 100th loss tonight if possible. For Salina South, they only have two seniors on their roster, and when we played each other on January 14th, Lauren Robinstein was not available due to an injury. She is a five foot seven senior. She will be starting tonight's game. The other senior on Salina South's team, Victoria Maxton, who is planning to go to Kansas State on a track scholarship. She's an outstanding pole vaulter. At five foot nine, she wears number twenty-two. Oh, uh, Acacia Weiss is a five foot two freshman. Number two, she's going to get the start tonight, and she is an outstanding soccer player already committing to go to Kansas State, but she's just a freshman right now. Sydney Peterson, a five foot four sophomore, averages nine points a game. She wears number five. And the other starter, number 10, Kylie Arnold, an excellent defender, five foot four sophomore. It's a young team for the Salina South Cougars who come in at 9 and 8. All right, it's senior night here at the Salt Hawk Activity Center, and the Hutchinson Salt Hawks will be starting five seniors tonight. Five foot one, Taya Chapman. She wears number five. At five foot seven, Macy Yoder, who wears number 15. Five foot nine, senior. Gabby Posh, she wears number 23. She's planning to go to Newman and play basketball next year. She's already signed and committed. Five foot eight, Tina Robertson going to Emporia State to play volleyball next year, and she averages 10 points a game, hit the big three-point basket from the baseline at Salina South to send the game into overtime. And six foot one, they call her Grizzly. The leading scorer on Hutchinson's basketball team at 11 points a game. She scored 21 against Salina South on January 14th. Mackenzie Heffley. South rest out in their green, dark green uniforms with uh, yellow gold and white stripes on the side and white numerals. Hutchinson in their home whites with gold numerals. We're set to jump center. And it's going to be out of bounds and it will be controlled by the Sawbox. So they'll have the fierce first possession as the ball went out of bounds off of Salina South. Tina Robertson with a big smile on her face as uh, we get set to get going here. She'll be inbounding as the... uh, Tina Robertson jumps center tonight. That doesn't happen very often, but uh, that's what they decided to do tonight, and the Salina South player actually tipped the ball, and it went out of bounds. With the basketball in the backcourt was Chapman over to Yoder. Yoder with the basketball. Robertson's covered up. They go outside on a posh. She looks to the corner to Chapman. Chapman will bring it down on the dribble. Heffley on the outside. Posh drives baseline underneath, puts it up, and rims off no good. And a rebound is going to be cleared out of there by Salida South. An easy basket missed by Posh right there. The ball comes out quickly to Peterson, and they'll set up the offense out top with the basketball as Weiss. Hands it off to Peterson again. She'll roll to her right side to the top of the key. Down low, puts it up and scores it. Peterson with the basket makes it 2 nothing. Salina South with the early lead. And, boy, the posh on that missed layup, and that's exactly what it was. Those will get away from you sometimes and see if they can get it back here. Trailing already 2 nothing. Chapman with the basketball out top. Bounce pass goes over to Posh. She runs down the basketball as it didn't come clean to her. Now she just about sets it up, gives it down lower underneath the Hefley. Hefley turns, shoots, and scores. And there's that patented move we talked about on that left side of the glass, up and in. We're tied at two apiece. The three from the corner right does not go on a missed shot from an outside by Arnold. And here comes Tina Robertson. She'll bring it down to the right side, puts it up and scores it. Four to two. Hudson with two quick baskets. 
One by Hefley and that one by Robinson. Robertson, excuse me. There's a drive to the right side. Looping shot goes up. Note there. Nice block out by Tina Robertson underneath. As Weiss miss, missed the layup. And we go the other way. The feed down low to Hefley. She'll kick it out. The kick out for a three from Posh is good. That's, Seven to two. A quick run here. That's the spot on the wing that Gabby Posh likes to shoot from on that left wing. 7 0 run by the Salt Hawks after they let. South open with a two to nothing lead. Over on the right side, drove a penetration. They'll kick it back outside, surveying the defense over on that far side is Rubenstein. And the ball, the foul is going to be called. It'll be two shots coming for, for uh, Lauren Robinstein, excuse me. First foul committed by Tina Robertson. Matter of fact, that's the first foul of this basketball game. 5.48 to play in the first quarter. It will be uh, Victoria Maxton to the line to shoot free throws. For South, her first one is up and short. Maxed in a 5'9 senior for Salina South. She shoot a second one. 7 2 ball game, Hutch with the early lead. 5.48 to go in this first half. Free throws up and good. Nice free throw by Victoria Maxton. So 7 3 is your score. Hutch with the lead with 5.44 to go in the first quarter of play. Chapman, ball comes over to Yoder. Yoder in front of the South bench. Lobs it down low to Hefley. She's double teamed. Gives it to Tina. And Robertson can't get to the ball. It's Aaron pass. Here we go the other way. Shot from outside. The three doesn't go for Peterson. But a putback basket is there by Weiss as she was right underneath the basket on that right side for the weak side rebound. Acacia Weiss. At five foot two, the freshman was in the right spot at the right time. She averages 11 points a game. So she is an offensive threat for the Cougars. Weiss putting pressure on the inbound, and Hudson gets it into Chapman. Chapman will bring it up. Quickly goes to Posh. Posh to Hefley. Hefley backs in down low, kicks it back outside to Tina Robertson. Robertson drives in, puts it up, and a foul called. She'll go to the line to shoot the free throw. As Robertson likes to take it inside and get that contact and get herself a trip to the line, the foul's going to be called on the Maxton. That'll be her first personal. First team foul as well, Dan. Hutchinson looks dialed in and ready to play tonight. It's uh, They're off to a good start. 5-0-1 remaining to go. First quarter of play. Free throw by Robertson is up and good. And again, you mentioned Tina planning to go to Emporia State University to play volleyball. Hutchinson's free throw, second free throw won't go. And rebound's cleared out by Salina. Just going to mention Hutchinson High School, blue and gold. Emporia State University, black and gold. Yeah, black and gold. Of course, your alma mater. Dribble penetration by Peterson, sandwiched in between. Nice turnover as Hudson comes up and enforced that turnover. Chapman quickly up the court. Macy Yoder can't handle it. Out of bounds, last touch off the south. It's obviously Hutchinson's plan offensively to attack the basket yep. or post up half late. Mm-hmm. And it's Salina South's plan to double-team Hefley when she catches it. If you can attack the basket, they have to commit to you. Somebody's going to be open at a low block. Here's Chapman out front. Goes left side over to Yoder. Yoder off the ball screen. Down low. She's open. Basket good. And a push foul from behind. Macy Yoder, senior night, scores it. He gives Hutchinson a 10-5 to lead, and she'll shoot a free throw. Robinstein picks up the personal. It'll be her first. Free throw toss by Yoda. Rattles out on her. No good. And the rebound is going to be cleared out of there by Salina South. The 10-5 lead, though, for the Salt Hawks. Ball outside. Robinstein gives it up. Back to Weiss. And Weiss will attack on Chapman. She takes it to the right side. Bounce pass outside. Dribble penetration right there by Arnold. Shot on its way. Missing. Ball comes way out and it's going to be out of bounds. It'll be South basketball on that far side as it trickled out of the reach of any Hudson player. I'm not sure I've ever seen a rebound bounce all the way Came out back to half court and then go out of bounds without anyone being able to retrieve it. Top left with the basketball. New face in that lineup is Mariah Yonda. Yonda. Give it up to the right side, down low blocks. Kick it back outside. Losing the basketball now will be Salinas 
South player, and a jump ball is going to be called. It'll be uh, South basketball with the arrow pointing that way. Good hustle by Hutchinson to get on top of it. Hutchinson has been playing a 2-3 zone with the ball coming in from the baseline. They'll go man-to-man instead. Big announcement. The stream's working good tonight. Oh, so good. we got the audio working and everything, so go ahead and go to Saltbox Sports at YouTube.com. Ball on the outer perimeter. They'll bring it top side, top of the key. They'll kick it into the hands and quick hard pass to Yonda. Now it's knocked out of bounds. It'll still be South basketball. We're chuckling a little bit because that catch was in self-defense. It just about was. She started to run that way and all of a sudden saw the ball was coming to her. <laughs> top of the key, left wing. Yonda top side. Now Hutch in the zone. Swift to the zone. zone. Here's Weiss. Back on the left side. Ball thrown away and... Tina went for the interception but couldn't get to the ball. Probably a good thing. It ends up being a Hutchinson basketball. And back into the Cougar lineup, will, uh, Sydney Peterson will return, and so will Victoria Maxton after they got a little bit of a rest. 10-5 ball game, a little pressure in the backcourt. Hutch needs some help, and they get it across to Chapman. She'll bring it down, and a reach from behind is going to be called. A quick foul right there on Peterson. She'll pick up the personal. Not a shooting situation as Chapman was just bringing it up. Salina South's playing man-to-man defense. Ball comes in to Posh, deep corner right three, got it. Second three of the ball game for Posh. That'll force the timeout taken by head coach Ryan Stewart of Salina South. 13 to five, all Hutchison. This first quarter of play, 3:14 to go. We'll be back in a half minute. Welcome to the Hutchinson Medicine Shop. With the emergence of big business, not only in pharmacy, but all industries, the Medicine Shop is proud to be a thriving local business in Hutchinson. We're so thankful to our customers in Hutchinson, Reno County, and Central Kansas for your support. In turn, we're proud to be a major sponsor of the Hutch High Salt Hawks, as well as other area high schools, the Blue Dragons, Chiefs, Royals, Jayhawks, and Wildcats. You support us, and the Hutchinson Medicine Shop Supports local sports. A start to the first quarter of play, 13-5 by the Salt Hawks, who's the leader right now by eight. With 3-11 to go in his first quarter of play, Hutch putting some pressure on and they get the ball across. Peterson has it. Back outside of Weiss. Senior night has been very good to Hutchinson yeah, so really far. Yeah, really has. Good job by Yoder defensively, staying right on Weiss. And then she puts some pressure also on Yonda, she comes across. They get it down low underneath the Maxim, but they kick it outside. Shot put up, missing. Rebound goes off the hands of Maxton out of bounds. She was in good position, just could not finish down there. Maxton at 5'9", a senior, gives Hefley a little bit of size down there to work up against. And Maxton is a good athlete, again, going to Kansas State on a pole vaulting scholarship. All right, now you see... Where South is putting full court pressure. Hutch trying to get it in. They finally do the Chapman. Now they peel off and let him go by. And Chapman will bring it up, guarded by Peterson. She goes to the left side. South oh, staying man to man. Yeah, they sure are. Here's Joder, corner right. They go to Chapman. Chapman brings it out them to uh, Grizzly, clear out outside. And the ball's knocked away and a foul call. A little over aggressive play by Acacia Weiss. So foul starting to add up a little bit now for. Or now for the Cougars, that's their fourth. And I think these are the first substitutions they for are. Hutchinson. So Sims, Coach Connor Riley yeah. went with all of the five seniors for the first five and a half minutes of this. Sims, game. Wilson, and Moriasi checking into the ball game. Wilson at that point guard spot right now. Played probably your best basketball in the tournament at Emporia. There's a long three by Posh and Gabby's on fire. Stop, drop, and roll and call the fire department. She's knocked down three trays in this quarter. 16-5. Hutchinson with the lead. Hutchinson with the six out of seven from the field. And I'll tell you what I like about it in a second. There's a drive inside. and Oh, got away with a walk, but yeah, shot put up and in that. by Maxton. Breaks a long run, and right now 16-7, Hutchinson on top. The fact she's hit those from different points on the floor. At Valley Center, you could have taken a one point just put dots on there where she shot it from but here she shot one from the corner and also a couple from down low shot up and good underneath basket good by Hutchinson Zia Sims and it's 18-7 now that's on a nice run 
Ball goes right side with the basketball on the outer perimeter. Long three ball. Off its mark. No good. Coming in to get the rebound with Salina, though, and they put it up and in. Scoring for Salina was number 10. Kylie Arnold gets the basketball up and down. It's 18 to 9. Hutchinson still doubling up, though, on South. Look for Tina to get a shot from the baseline corner. Coach Riley turned his mind, changed his mind on what he was calling out there. And now the swing it to the left side. Robinson had a chance. Down low underneath, Gabby Posh comes up and gets it, shoots it on its way, rims out on her no good. And over the back is going to be the call on Sims on the rebound. It'll be the uh, second team foul against Hutchison. Sims first. Hutchison is going to put some pressure now on South with 52.5 seconds to go. So Gabby got the shot from the corner instead of Tina. Ball left. Oh, I've seen about two infractions that have not got called. Ball on the outer perimeter. No kick your corner right. And you know me, I used to say that unless it's pretty apparent, Dan. You're sitting there rolling your eyes. There's a steal by Wilson. Wilson will bring it up. She'll try to attack, loses control of the basketball, and out of bounds instead goes off of Wilson. So tough break right there. About the time she was trying to make her move to the basket, she lost the handle on the ball. 29.2 seconds to go. And Connor Riley always there encouraging his team that that was a good play. No, needless no matter what the end result was, because you got the steal. Ball and bring it down. Oh, close to out of bounds. Last touched out of bounds by Hutchinson. Salina South's Lauren Robinstein got a little elbow in the... About in two the, inches away from stepping out of bounds, I'm saying. The ball comes into Weiss. Shot clock, or game clock, I should say, at 14. No shot clock in high school, of course. Shot clock has gone dark. Yes, it has. For the whole night. For the whole night. Ball on the outside. Weiss over the corner right. They'll drive on it. That's Peterson. She'll spin to her right, puts the shot up, and draws the foul with 2.4 to go. It will be a shooting foul as well. And referee sprinting over with the call will say that it is on Gabby Posh. It'll be her first. Hutchinson committed three fouls in this first quarter, but three different players. Three goes up and missing. For Sidney Peterson. Peterson is a sophomore. Young Salina South team, only two seniors on the team. Three throw toss, this one's good. So she split the pair right there. Cuts that lead down to 18-10 now. Here's Sims. Sims will shoot it up, and it's off the right side of the board. Had a good look. If it had been about two feet to the left, it would have been off the window and good. But here we go to the end of the quarter. We'll go to the second quarter with Hutchinson leading by eight. 18-10, we'll be back. With, after this one minute timeout and go to the second quarter on Saldock Radio Sports. Like a good deal? Need a new phone? Listen up. Trade in your old device at Next Tech Wireless and get half off any smartphone. Then take your shiny new phone shopping with your $100 Visa gift card. That's any smartphone plus cash to spend. Oh yeah, need more lines? No problem. Get a new smartphone at half price for everyone in the family. Plus, up to $300 in Visa gift cards. Visit Next Tech Wireless today. Your new phone and cash are waiting. Certain restrictions apply. See store for details. Getting the most back from your tax return starts with getting the most expertise. H&R Block has more enrolled agents than any other tax preparation company, and we guarantee the accuracy of every return prepared by our tax professionals. We find every credit and deduction to lower your tax bill. Put our expertise to work on your return, and don't just get your taxes done, get your taxes won. In Hutchinson, Lyons, and Ellsworth. Now, welcome back. Second quarter of action. Glenn Grunwald, Dan Nacarado on KWBW Hutchinson, Kansas. 18 to 10. Hutchinson with the lead. Moriasi will start the second quarter of play along with Wilson. Sims, as well as Roberts, Robertson and Posh, the five on the floor for the Salthawks. Posh, deep corner right. Back to Robertson. Flash back to Moriasi. They'll get it open for Wilson, she'll shoot the three, and they had to say it's the two. Had a toe on the line, just a little bit over on the line. Still a good basket for Wilson. 20 to 10 is your score. She was wide open. Hutch with the lead. Right side, good, solid defense by the Salthawks. Wilson locking up on one of the Salthawk, on one of the Salina players and forces the ball out of bounds. It'll be off Wilson. Hutchinson, 8 out of 11 from the field. Salina South, 4 for 10. 
Here comes the inbound. Okay, get all the way back to Peterson. She'll gather it in between circles. Hefley set the check back into the ball game. The drive underneath, Maxson's open, and she puts it up and in. Two open, actually, because he came to attack the interior drive and left her wide open on the left block. 3-2 zone now by Salina South. That means the corners are open for three-point shots, here's, and Hutchinson wants them. Yeah, here's Wilson. Robertson will pop one, and it hits the back iron, comes off, no good, loose basketball, picked up by Sims to the left side of Posh. She's wide open. Yes! The three-pointer up Posh. It is her fourth three-pointer, and it forces a Salina timeout, 23-12. to Hutchinson on top with 6.53 to go in quarter number two. We'll take a one-minute break. We'll be back with more Salt Rock Sports right here on BW. Hutchinson High School Sports is on the air thanks to these outstanding Salt Hawk Boosters, Portfolio Recovery Associates, The Shirt Shack, where the shirt hits the fans, Randy Smith of Appalachian Animal Hospital, Ryan and Robin Swanson of Phoenix Restoration, Kathy McCormick of Wynn Insurance Group, Reno Alcohol and Drug Counseling Services, The Hutchinson Clinic, Salon B, I Need a Cleaners, and Jackson Me. Hutchinson High School and Eagle Radio Sports say thank you for your support. Need to send someone money? Pay a babysitter? Split the bill? Use First Pay. It is the person-to-person payment option located right inside your online banking app. There is no need to download an additional application. It is simple, safe, and secure. We're first for you. Visit fnbhutch.bank to learn more, or click on your First National Bank app to get started. You can also stop into a location nearest you, and we're happy to help. First National Bank of Hutchison, member FDIC, equal housing lender. Welcome back to the Salt Hawk Activity Center. Salinas South called the timeout. Peterson will come up against that trap, and they get it back across. Peterson has it high. Good job by Sims to drop down and double down on Maxson down low. They'll kick it to the right side of Weiss. Over on the left side. That's working that zone. Ball in the outer perimeter. Salina trying to move it against the zone. And falling down, and a blocking foul is called on Robertson. Falling down was the Salina South player, Robinstein, over there. And that'll be uh, Tina's second. So Posh will come back in for her. Hutchinson plays a 2 2 1 full court, kind of a token press and then they fall back to a 2-3 zone. That's what they've been doing this entire first half. Ball comes out high to Weiss. Slant of South basketball down 23-12. to Gabby Posh with four trays in the ball game, accounting for 12 of the points. Three-pointer put up and missing. Posh rebound. That's just an on the dribble now. Posh will bring it into the forecourt. In and out of Macy Yoder's hands. Turnover against Hutchinson. Don't forget to live stream on Sonoc Sports at YouTube channel.com, YouTube.com, and also later on they'll be up on NFH Network as well. Just across the timeline just in time, and player usually loses her shoe, and now they'll kick it over and throw it away. It'll be Hutchinson basketball. As Weiss lost her shoe, and... I was wondering why she wasn't getting the official timeout on that. Salina South was going four against five, and Hutchinson took advantage of it. Exactly. 5.42 to go in this second quarter of play. Hutchinson 23-12 to on top of South. Here's Macy Yoder. She'll drive it in, shoot some misses. Sims gets the rebound outside to Wilson. She'll gun and miss it. Goes off the corner and out of bounds. It sails. It'll be South basketball. Sims upset with herself. She did a good job to get the offensive board. She is so athletic. Can't wait to her senior year. Exactly. Hutchinson really wants to trap as soon as it comes across half court. They'll get it across. Backdoor play. Stone it away by Gabby Posh. She read that perfectly. They were trying to go to Arnold on that deep left side. And good job by Posh. Lots of pressure. And then she just dribbles it out of bounds. She, Gabby went behind the back and then never really got in full control of the basketball. And it just... Uh, Got a little bit away from her that time and went out of bounds on the sideline. Five minutes and ten seconds to go in quarter number two. Stay tuned tonight. Later on, Salt Hawk boys will take on a fine South team in basketball action. Salt Hawks trying to get that second elusive win of the year. They just had been slipping away from them. Thought they had in Valley Center and couldn't hang on. Ball on the outer perimeter. 
We'll flash it top side. Ball tipped away. Good hands by Yoder. She grew a little bit on that jump and trying to get to the ball. Salina South boys come in at 10 and 7. Ball to the right side. Here's Weiss. Back outside. New face in that lineup is Hamill. Ball nearly stolen away. Weiss to the left side of Peterson. On Yoder. Back outside. Weiss has it. There it goes to Hamill. She'll fire one up. It's not there. Rebound Wilson as it comes out long. And Harley Wilson will bring it on the dribble. 23 to 12. Hudson leading with four and a half to go in the second quarter of play. Hudson gave up the first basket of the game. Missed an easy bunny that would have gave Hudson a lead, and then he went on a 7-0 run. Here's Heft down low, and she'll score it. Grizzly puts it up and in, and it's 25-12. to Nice job by Grizzly to get another basket in low blocks. Ball on the outside. Peterson drives left all the way under, draws a foul on Heftley as she banged into her. Heftley turns around with that sheepish grin like, I really didn't go after that much, but there was contact made. Just her first. Yeah. Fifth team foul. At the line will be Peterson to shoot the free throw. Free throws up and good. And that's not Sarah Peterson. Nope, that's not. That's Ms. Peterson is a good ball player. And she is a sophomore for the Salina South team. Sydney Peterson. Free throw toss is up and good. So she got a pair, and it's 25-14 now. Hutch lead is trimmed down a little bit. Stay with us. Spin between games for senior night. We will take a break in between games. There's the three-pointer up and missing, and a quick foul. Sims picks up the foul, and that will be the sixth team foul. Not enough to walk down and set up for free throws, but 3.51 to go in a quarter. Sims will pick up the personal, and in comes Moriasi. Sims second. That, uh, that time... Salina South had secured the rebound, so it was an ill-advised foul. We'll have a quick interview with Coach Connor Riley right after the game. Get to make it very brief because he'll get out there with his girls, his seniors. This is a missed shot, Hefley. Comes out to Wilson, and Wilson will bring it up. She'll back it up and call out the play with her left hand. Goes to her right. There's Posh with the basketball. Hefley comes up and sets the ball screen. Back to Hefley underneath. She's double teamed, but she puts it up and in. Right there was size against non size as she put it up and in right over the two guards. And it's 27 14 now. Hutchinson. A three's good from outside. Knocking it down was Hamill. And Hamill shot a long three a little a while ago. And I wondered if she was a good three point shooter, and she is. The first three point shot attempt was way, probably eight feet beyond the arc. Gracie Keeler will check in next dead ball whistle. Got four blondes about ready to check in down here. Hefley underneath, kicks it back to Posh. Well, they're doubling up on Hefley everywhere she goes. Here they come down and they'll help. She goes inside, it's blocked away this time. So the lack of height didn't stop Franco, who's in there, is 5'7", to take that ball away. 27-17, Hutch with a 10-point lead now with 2.30 to go. They'll weave it out front into the lane, backdoor play underneath. Shot up and good. Nice play right there by Elizabeth Franco. Nice assist was handed to her as well by the point guard. Best possession of the game for Salina South. 27-19, nipping at the Hudson lead right now. Here's Posh off the ball screen, holds up, kicks it on the outside. There's Chapman. She'll gun it on its way. Rims off to her, no good. Posh trying to get to the basketball, cannot, and it goes out of bounds. Less touch by Posh. Inbounding will be south. That's putting pressure on him with 2.05 to go. With Connor Riley pleading his troops to play hard to finish the half. Ball on the outside, Peterson. Actually, so important for them not to get another basket and get any closer here to drive to the left side. Here's Peterson out front to the right wing. Back to Peterson, thought about it, takes it inside, puts a little Euro move up there with a Euro step and scores it. And a timeout taken by the Salthawks to talk things over. It is a six-point game. At one time, it was 12. 27-21, Hudson with the lead. We'll be back in a half minute. 
Basketballs are bouncing and crowds are cheering. Your best offense during cold and flu season is a good defense. Drink plenty of liquids, get plenty of rest, and keep your hands sanitized. If a bug still manages to get you, Ashcraft Pharmacy, your local Health Mart pharmacy, has over-the-counter medications that can help. Or if you need a prescription, we offer free mail-out, free delivery, or call ahead for our handy curbside service. Go Soul Talks! From Ashcraft Pharmacy in the Hart Shopping Center, South Hutchinson, and Healthmark, caring for you and about you. Well, the timeout taken by Connor Riley. At 205, he talked to his girls about playing hard. They let up a, a couple pretty good easy baskets right now. 27 21, the lead is six for the Salt Hawks. Trying to close out this half in a positive note. Posh, actually, that was Keeler over there. Posh is on the right side. Keeler with the basketball to Moriasi. Over to Chapman. She'll pop the three. It's off his mark. No good. Rebound fought for and taken away. Salinas south with the basketball. They'll whip it up. Corner left. Peterson to bounce outside. She gets it back now. Rolls to the right. Over on the far right side. But gets that zone. Trying to swing the ball around. Move that zone. Find an opening. Peterson and gun and miss. Off the back iron. The rebound cleared away. Nice job in there by Gracie Keeler. So he was a sophomore. They're going man to man now. Sorry. They're they're gonna, to... No, that's all right. They're going to lock it up with Chapman out front and just about get the steal, but Posh runs it down right before it comes to the scorer's table. Chapman with the basketball. 41 seconds remaining. Left side. Ball knocked away. Trying to hand it off to Keeler, and in between was the South player. And it will be controlled by Hutchison, and well, they get Chapman out of there, and Wilson comes in. We're doing part of the season now where when the coach calls out a play, pretty much everybody knows what's coming. When Hutt, when Coach Connor yeah. Riley calls fist, it's going to be an on-ball screen. They pass and go screen for the person they pass to. Goes to the right side to Posh. Posh loses the basketball. Coming out with the ball will be south. They'll bring it up quickly. Ball down and what too hard a shot. Rebound cleared out there by Hefley. Nice job on following. And comes up with it. Here's Moriasi. Moriasi inside. Puts it up and misses it. Rebound cleared. Underneath by Hutchison. It's tipped down actually by South. Eight seconds to go. Hutchison set it up. Wilson's got to go. She doesn't have time to call out the play. It gives the posh and they can't get a shot off. A wasted eight seconds at the end. But anyway, Hutchison on top. 27 to 21. At the end, the second quarter of play. We will take a quick timeout, two-minute timeout, get set for the medicine shop in-game capsule. We'll be back with more. That's leads by 6, 27 to 21. We'll be back in two minutes. Forward. Always moving. Never stagnant. Together. Nothing great is ever accomplished without it. At Fee Insurance Group, we've been working side-by-side -side with our clients for more than a century. Together with individuals, organizations, and communities, we look ahead to protect the people, places, and things they love. We're Fee Insurance Group. Forward. Together. Pools Plus has all of your swimming pool, hot tub, and outdoor furniture needs. Bright, beautiful, and functional designs by CR Plastics that are sure to hold up against the Kansas weather. Still looking for a hot tub? The 2020 shipments of American Whirlpool and Vita Spas have arrived. And as always, our pre-owned hot tubs are priced to move. Call the professionals at Pools Plus to schedule your pool opening before our calendar fills up. Shop local, shop Pools Plus, 21 East First in downtown Hutchinson. Hutchinson High School Sports is on the air thanks to these outstanding Salt Hawk Boosters, Portfolio Recovery Associates, The Shirt Shack, where the shirt hits the fans, Randy Smith of Appalachian Animal Hospital, Ryan and Robin Swanson of Phoenix Restoration, Kathy McCormick of Wynn Insurance Group, Reno Alcohol and Drug Counseling Services, The Hutchinson Clinic, Salon B, I Need a Cleaners, and Jackson Me. Hutchinson High School and Eagle Radio Sports say thank you for your support. Hutchinson Community College and Blue Dragon Athletics are proud to support Hutchinson Salt Hawk Athletics. Whether you're working towards your degree or a busy working individual with limited time to attend class, HutchCC has what you're looking for. And for those still in high school, Hutchinson Community College's Step Ahead program provides a head start on a quality education, and it may not cost the student anything. Visit hutchcc.edu or call 888-GO-HUTCH for more details. And good luck this season to the Salt Hawks. 
Uh, welcome back to the Salt Hawk Activity Center. We're at halftime, 27-21. Hutchinson was one of the better quarters in that first quarter, especially. And they lead at halftime. Hutchinson does by six. The Lady Salt Hawks really working well this evening. Gabby Posh, red hot from outside the arc with 12. With the four three-pointers, we'll add up the numbers here in a second. It's time for the medicine shop in-game capsule. Brought to you by the Little White Castle. Again, at 14th of Maine and Hutchinson. Read an article today where it's still the flu season. We're right primely still in the meat of it. So if you have not got your flu shot, please give Rick and the gang a call at the, at the medicine shop and see if you can line up and get a flu shot. With that said, seniors can get a stronger dose of the flu shot that might fend off that evil evil bug up to four times stronger so be sure and tell them that you're 65 and over and you'd like to add the big gun so to speak don't forget over the counter products such as cbd oil pharmaceutical grade cbd oil blue stuff and all the stuff gift cards as well as also greeting cards so stop in the medicine shop at 14th and main they deliver so i'll go in and talk to them about transferring your medications they'll do all the work for you 14th and main the medicine shop dan on, numbers. S- on senior night here at the Salt Hawk Activity Center, Hutchinson has five seniors. All five started the game, and all five seniors scored for Hutchinson in that first half. Hutchinson leads it 27-21 to over Salina South. Leading all scorers in the first half, Gabby Posh scored four three-point shots in that first half. She scored 12 points. Six points from Grizzly, Mackenzie Heffley. And then two points apiece by Zaya Sims, Harley Wilson, and Macy Yoder. Tina Robertson made a traditional three-point play in the first quarter for her three points. The Salt Hawks are 11 of 22 from the field for exactly 50%. They were 7 of 10 in the first quarter, so they cooled off a little bit in that second quarter, but still maintained the lead 27-21 for the Salina South Cougars. Five foot four sophomore Sydney Peterson leads them in scoring with seven points. Five points by Victoria Maxton. Three points, Calissa Hamill. Two points apiece, Lizzie Franco, Kylie Arnold, and Acacia Weiss. The uh, Cougars are eight of 19 from the field and four of six from the free throw line. But a good half of basketball, and Hutchinson is on top right yep. now, 27-21. You bet. That is your Medicine Shop in-game capsule, brought to you by the Medicine Shop in, Hutch- in Hutchinson, 14th and Main in Hutch. Give them a try. They'll deliver. They'll transfer your medications for you. And stop in and see what we're talking about. Good local business owned by Rick Stone, the Medicine Shop. It's easy to make sure you're drinking clean, healthy water every day with all of Culligan's state-of-the-art water treatment products, including water softeners, drinking water systems, or bottled water, you can get what works for you. You'll start enjoying the health benefits right away, and you'll start saving on future replacement costs of appliances and faucets. For better water, pure and simple, call your locally owned Culligan, serving Central Kansas with offices in Hutchison, Lyons, and Great Bend. It's halftime, and it's time for the USD 308 Weekly Activity Report, brought to you by Culligan Water of Hutchinson, Lions, and Great Bend. Give your Culligan man a call at 669-9375. Rethink how your home drinks. Culligan Water Systems change everything, from laundry and showering to drinking and cooking. And now, here with your Weekly Activity Report is Hutch High Junior, Sarah Peterson. Hey, Salt Hawk fans, here's your Hutch High Activity Report for this upcoming week. On Bucks, Wrestling Varsity Regionals will continue at Topeka Washburn Rural High School. On Monday, February 24th, girls and boys basketball will host Newton for makeup games starting at 6 and 7.30 p.m. On Tuesday, February 25th, girls and boys basketball will travel to Derby High School for games at 6 and 7.30 p.m. On Friday, February 28th, girls and boys basketball will travel to Campus High School for games at 6 and 7.30 p.m. Wrestling will participate at the state meet as well on a Saturday at the Hartman Arena in Park City, Kansas. That's your Colgan Water USD 308 activity report for next week. That was this week's USD 308 Weekly Activity Report, brought to you by Culligan Water of Hutchison, Lions, and Great Bend. 
Give your Culligan Man a call at 620-669-9375. Rethink out your home drinks. Culligan Water Systems change everything from laundry and showering to drinking and cooking. We'll be back with more from halftime on the Hutchison Salt Hawk Sports Network. Welcome to the Hutchinson Medicine Shop. With the emergence of big business, not only in pharmacy, but all industries, the Medicine Shop is proud to be a thriving local business in Hutchinson. We're so thankful to our customers in Hutchinson, Reno County, and Central Kansas for your support. In turn, we're proud to be a major sponsor of the Hutch High Salthawks, as well as other area high schools, the Blue Dragons, Chiefs, Royals, Jayhawks, and Wildcats. You support us, and the Hutchinson Medicine Shop supports local sports. Like a good deal? Need a new phone? Listen up. Trade in your old device at Nextech Wireless and get half off any smartphone. Then take your shiny new phone shopping with your $100 Visa gift card. That's any smartphone plus cash to spend. Oh yeah, need more lines? No problem. Get a new smartphone at half price for everyone in the family. Plus, up to $300 in Visa gift cards. Visit Nextech Wireless today. Your new phone and cash are waiting. Certain restrictions apply. See store for details. Getting the most back from your tax return starts with getting the most expertise. H&R Block has more enrolled agents than any other tax preparation company, and we guarantee the accuracy of every return prepared by our tax professionals. We find every credit and deduction to lower your tax bill. Put our expertise to work on your return, and don't just get your taxes done, get your taxes won. In Hutchinson, Lyons, and Ellsworth. Hutchinson High School Sports is on the air thanks to these outstanding Salt Hawk Boosters, Portfolio Recovery Associates, The Shirt Shack, where the shirt hits the fans, Randy Smith of Appalachian Animal Hospital, Ryan and Robin Swanson of Phoenix Restoration, Kathy McCormick of Wynn Insurance Group, Reno Alcohol and Drug Counseling Services, The Hutchinson Clinic, Salon B, I Need a Cleaners, and Jackson Me. Hutchinson High School on Eagle Radio Sports say thank you for your support. Glenn Grunwald along with Dan Nacarado just before halftime here. It's 27-21. Hutchison with the lead, and that's really needs the girls need to keep the pressure on right now. They had at one time a 12-point lead. They were doubling up. They had them 18-9, and then kind of let them get the back in a little bit toward tail end of the second quarter of action. And so far, I like the intensity of the defense. Hutchinson probably played their best all-around first half of basketball of the season. Especially that first quarter was a fantastic quarter when they went 7 of 10 from the field. Give Salina South credit. They got themselves in that 12-point deficit, but they continued to compete, and they had a couple of really good possessions where they got good shots that they made. They were good looks, good high-percentage shots, and Salina South is back into this one. Again, we, I think you're going to see a lot of pressure being put on the Salthawks because uh, that's kind of the book on them right now is you got to put pressure on them. It'll force turnovers. We'll see if Salina South does that. Sometimes you do that, Dan. You take chances. We saw a couple opportunities for the Salthawks. They just weren't able to convert on easy baskets. That's right. Hutchinson with McKenzie Heffley in the post has an advantage inside, and that's opening up some things for, for Hutchinson. On the other hand, Salina South has several young, very athletic, very aggressive players, and they make some good things happen for the Cougars. Just trying to check in on that Garden City basketball score. Was not able to at right now, so Peterson, there's a turnover. Hudson comes up with it. Tina Robertson with the steals as Sidney Peterson turned the ball over. Now Hudson trying to hang on to it. Yoder way outside, gathers in the there and pass. Here we go, left side. And Guy B. Posh has it. Robertson was trying to slide out of the way. Posh over the right side to Yoder. Here's Chapman with the basketball. She'll bring it down the dribble. Heffley out high. Cutters cut to go to Yoder. She's open for three. It rims off. No good. Ball pops away into the hands of Peterson for South, and they'll bring it up quickly. So Hutchinson first tried to get points in the second half. Did not work. Here's Peterson. She'll drive it in. Teeters on the rim and comes out. Yoder with the rebound. So Hutchinson basketball for a minute deep in this third quarter play. Chapman to the right side to Yoder. Yoder rolls off the ball screen. Yoder still with the ball to Heffley. Back outside. Again, man-to-man D. 
as down the low blocks was Maxton playing with staying on halfway. Ball on the outside, Yoder off the ball screen. Gives it off now to Tina Robertson. Show drive into the middle. Gets called for the travel call. Turnover Hutchinson. Hutchinson went with the same starting lineup with all five seniors starting the third quarter. Tina Robertson's a little bit shaken up. She's a little slow She's getting up. She's very slow getting up, and they will send Sims in. She got nudged on her so drive yeah, Sims the did not check in all the way to the table, so... And they say they got her. <laughs> I think she checked in with you, Glenn. I think she did again. Here comes the inbounds. So a little pressure in the backcourt by Hutchison. Yoder on the ball. Now back to the left sing. Ball comes out high, and there's a foul called on Posh. Gabby's second foul. Gabby typically does not commit very many fouls. So she can commit a couple fouls, and she's a smart player that shouldn't worry about her getting into further trouble. Peterson with the ball. They'll hand it back outside. Weiss has it. She rolls to the right. They'll hand it off and just weave it. Over in the corner, right side with it, Peterson. She's their main go-to player right now that's on the court, along with Maxton in the low blocks. Here's a drive across Weiss to Peterson. Bosch stays on her. No crossover. Robinstein goes in, shot up, missing. Rebound Sims. That's has it with 6.02 to go. So two t- minutes deep. And here's Wilson checking in the ball game. Feed down low to Hefley, finds a way, and gets it up and in. When she posted up, that time it was against Maxton. She handled it nicely. Good job by Hefley. I like it when Gabby catches it just a little bit above the block. Gives herself room. Ball on the outer perimeter. We'll kick it to the right side. Three-pointer off is marked. Oh, good rebound underneath those. Snagged away by South, and they'll keep it alive. Coming up with the rebound was Kylie Arnold. Here's Weiss, rules to the right side. Ball goes into the hands of Arnold again. Now here's Peterson. She'll kick it back outside. Dribble penetration to the left. Robinstein had it for a second, was cut down, cut back, and here's Weiss with the ball. Good man-to-man defense by Hutchinson. Three minutes deep now into this third quarter. That's still with that eight-point lead. Jumper up and missing, no good. We're getting a rebound underneath was Hutchinson's Chapman, and Chapman will bring it up. Up the court comes Chapman to the left side to Gabby Posh. It's down low underneath. They'll work to Hefley. Hefley, oh, she could have turned and spun around, but didn't. Gave it off to Chapman. She'll shoot the three. It's not there. Rebound's going to be cleared out of there, and a rebound goes to South, and South will bring it up quickly. Down low underneath, Faxton, basket good. And there's one where you could have had one at the other end and didn't get it. And right there, the quick basket by Maxton makes it a six-point ball game at 29-23. Hutch with the lead. Chapman on the outside ball, sails out of bounds, last touch off of Peterson. South is staying with man-to-man defense here in this third quarter, so if Hutchinson can set up a set play to attack man-to-man, this would be the time to do it. Moriasi will inbound on the far side. She'll have Wilson to get the ball in two, and she does. Wilson in the backcourt, backs up, now rolls to the left. Here's Posh on the outer perimeter. Over on the right side to Sims. Down low underneath Hefley. Ball knocked away. Ran, ran down by Wilson. And then she has it blocked on her. And up the court comes South. South with the basketball only down by six. Ball turned over, though, as Posh comes up with a loose basketball as Arnold couldn't handle the tough pass in the corner. Seventh turnover committed by the Cougars. Wilson out front. Timeout's taken by... Hutchinson, a six-point Hutch lead with 3.46 to go in the third quarter of play. Kind of an important time in this third quarter of play, so they'll take a half minute. We'll take it with them. We'll be back in 30 seconds. Need to send someone money? Pay a babysitter? Split the bill? Use FirstPay. It is the person-to-person payment option located right inside your online banking app. There is no need to download an additional application. It is simple, safe, and secure. We're first for you. Visit fnbhutch.bank to learn more or click on your First National Bank app to get started. You can also stop into a location nearest you, and we're happy to help. First National Bank of Hutchison, member FDIC, equal housing lender. Welcome back. Glenn Grunwald, Dan Nacarado, 29-23, a six-point Hutchison lead in this third quarter of play, 3.46 to go in the third. Key possession here for Hutch, I believe, as Wilson will 
bring it up and knocked out of bounds. Last touch off of a South player. That would be Arnold that got a hand on it. Moriasi will inbound. Gets it into Wilson. Wilson with the basketball. Set up the offense to the right side. Now they return it to the left. Here's Posh. Posh with Arnold on her. Sims is open. Goes down low to Sims. She'll spin in the lane. Puts a shot up and scores it. Very well played by Zaya Sims. 21-23. Nice job of Posh getting the ball to her. That's right. Sims set the ball screen and then rolled. They set the double team. Here's Arnold. They'll whip it across over the far side. Peterson had it for a second. And you work it back to the right side. South basketball with 3.05 to go in the third period of play. Here's wife. She'll blow by and puts up the shot. No good. And a foul is going to be committed on Hutchinson. Shooting foul. It'll be on Yoder. Oh, check that on Wilson. It will not be a shooting foul. It'll be over on the right side. They'll inbound it. Here comes Arnold to trigger the inbounds pass. They get it into Weiss. Weiss rolls to the top. Over on the left side. Back out front. Dribble penetration to the right side. Spin move by Arnold. Takes it down. Puts it up and in. And the end one. The foul on the low blocks. Foul's going to be charged on Hefley. And Arnold was able to take it right down to the right side and get the end one. And pulls it again within six. The chance to make it even closer. 31-25 is the score for us right now. And a free throw toss is good. A five-point game, Dan Nacarado, 31-26 here in the third quarter of play with 2.48 to go. Hutchison drives it all the way down. Wilson, basket up, no good. Rebound cleared out of there. Coming up with it will be Maxson. Wilson trying to make something happen, took it all the way in, didn't get the shooter's roll. Here's the drive on the right side. Down low underneath, shot not there. Hefley with the rebound. Good job by Hutchison defensively. To not foul on that low blocks. It's very tantalizing to go for that ball, but they elected not to. Here's Wilson. Wilson getting a little frustrated with having somebody right on her all the time and throws the ball away. Well, you used the key word, Glenn. She was frustrated. Yeah, and it caused the turnover. That's exactly what happened. And Chapman will come in and let Wilson settle down a little bit. Here comes Robertson back in as well. And... And checking out will be Gabby Posh. Hutchinson goes back to the 2-2-1 full court pressure, but they really want to get a trap when it comes across half court if they can. To the left side, back to the center, and across the half court is Weiss. Now they they give up the pass on the right side, down low, loose basketball, put up and in. New face in there, up and in there is Franco. Franco gets the basket, makes it a three-point ball game, and a, half, a push from behind is going to be called. That'll be the first team foul against Salina South. 149 to play in the third quarter. Yeah, they got that on Robinstein. That'll be her second personal. Here comes the pass in to Tina Robertson. Shot way too hard. Ripping down the rebound as Robinstein. And up the court comes Salina now. Three-point ball game, 31-28. Salina South has nipped at that Hutchison lead, which Hutch has 31 for some time now, just nipping at it a little bit. Here's a drive inside by Weiss. Her basket won't go. Big rebound. Moriasi underneath for Hutchison comes out with it. A minute and 24 to go. Hutch needs to work for a good shot. They've been kind of pushing it, getting frustrated a little bit with the turnovers. Robertson off the ball screen. We'll roll to the top, to the right side. She goes to Chapman. She'll drive in, puts it up a shot, and a foul called. It will be a shooting foul shot, shooting foul, that is, and it'll send Chapman to the line to shoot two. Kalisa Hamill committed that foul. Only her first, second team foul, Chapman at the line to try to extend that lead past three. Free throw toss is off its mark, no good. thing that worries you just a little bit if you're a Hutchinson fan in a close game Hutchinson has not been very accurate from the free throw line this season. And sometimes those free throws end up making the difference if you have a game that's pretty tight. Free throw toss. This one comes off no good. And this one's tight right now at three points. 31-28, Hutchinson lead. But Hutch wasn't able to add to it as Chapman missed both free throws. Ball outside to the left. Against Salina South. 
rotating it around and driving. Loose basketball picked up by Hudson. Sims comes up with the Salina Sound turnover. Here comes the Moriasi trying to get it down low to Hefley. Back outside to Chapman. Has it popped away from her. Got to get to it, Chapman. She does, finally. As Peterson was driving to it, maybe would have had an easy trip to the basket. Down low underneath. They go to Hefley. Over the back is going to be the call. This one's going to work on Salina South Franco. That really was a pretty good foul by Lizzie Franco. It's only her first. And had Hefley caught it there, Hefley probably would have scored. Not in a shooting situation. We're a long ways from that. 313 foul. Here comes the inbound. Ball comes corner right. There's a Moriasi. Three, and she hits it. Way to go, J.C. Moriasi. She knocks it down to give it a little bit of a breathing room now. 34-28. The sleet is back at six for Hutchinson. That was a pretty big three-point basket for Hutchinson. Ball on the outside. Peterson with it. She just holds the ball now, 10 seconds. Now it's down to eight. Looks at her coach and... Coach Ryan Stewart says go. She'll drive it in, puts up the shot, not there. Rebound to Hutchison, and the end of the third quarter is here. Hutchison with a six-point lead, 34-28, as we go to the fourth corner of play. We'll be back with more well, Hutchison Salt Hawk basketball right after this one-minute timeout. Basketballs are bouncing and crowds are cheering. Your best offense during cold and flu season is a good defense. Drink plenty of liquids, get plenty of rest, and keep your hands sanitized. If a bug still manages to get you, Ashcraft Pharmacy, your local Health Mart pharmacy, has over-the-counter medications that can help. Or if you need a prescription, we offer free mail-out, free delivery, or call ahead for our handy curbside service. Go Salt Hawks! From Ashcraft Pharmacy in the Hart Shopping Center, South Hutchinson, and Health Mart, caring for you and about you forward always moving never stagnant together nothing great is ever accomplished without it at the insurance group we've been working side by side with our clients for more than a century together with individuals organizations and communities we look ahead to protect the people places and things they love we're the insurance group forward together Yeah, welcome back. We start this fourth quarter with Hudson with a six-point lead at 34-28. It'll be Hudson basketball. Boy, that three by Moriasi was absolutely huge. Ball comes in to Chapman. As Salina South had got it all the way down to three points, and now we have the Salt Hawk turnover. So it'll be the ball over to Salina South. Dan or Sawbox are leaving the door open. Well, and we were talking about free throw shooting. Salina South, 5 of 7 from the free throw line. Hutchinson just 1 out of 5. Ball right side for South. That's why she'll drive all the way under. Ball knocked away. And it's it's last touched out of bounds, though, by Salina South. Hutchinson committed 8 turnovers so far. Salina South, 9. If we get the ball in the Chapman in the backcourt, she'll bring it up. Peterson tied on her. Peterson, a little sophomore, works really hard out there. Across the timeline, Chapman. Left side now to Tina Robertson. Robertson holds it to the top. Drive right side by Chapman all the way through and goes in between Sims' legs out of bounds. It'll be a turnover. Just skipped right in between her legs. Wasn't able to get to it. Chapman had committed because she was going out of bounds with it. She had to make that pass. Ends up being a turnover. Ball on the outer perimeter. Weiss goes right side, pulls it back. Let's give it all the way out to the top. There's Arnold down low, a little give and go, basket good. They worked it for perfection on Maxton, and it's a four-point ball game at 34-30. Make those blocks down low commit. There's a foul in the backcourt on Peterson. Those are the tough for a coach that far away from the basket. Your little guard's putting a lot of pressure on. That's her second personal, but it could come back to haunt you. That's true. You hate to see players commit fouls 50, 60 feet away from the goal. Wilson trying to get it in between the two players. Tina Robertson finally gets it to Moriasi. And now setting it up will be Wilson. Wilson to the right side. Goes with the fist call. Out long three by Gabby Posh. Missing, but Sims is there for the rebound. Put back up and good. What a play by Sims. Posh's rebound. Hit straight off the iron and went straight up, and everybody went 
Didn't get to it with the exception of Sims, and she converts. And a push foul is calling the low blocks. This will work against Hutchinson. Dan, I like the offensive board by Sims at the other end. And also the ability to finish in traffic on the follow. Robertson picks up her third. Each team has committed four fouls. Ball comes out high. South has it with three with six twenty five to go in this fourth quarter of play. A six point lead for Hutch. The drive to the right side, layup, nope, not there. Rebound cleared underneath by Tina Robertson. And Tina will give it off to Wilson. She'll run it all the way down. Harley takes it in, puts it up, and scores it. Shot it with the right hand. I'll let her get away from that now because she took it on the left side and got it up and down. It's an eight-point Hutch lead. It counts as two points. The Salt will take them any way they can get them. Coaches all over everywhere is dying on that one, though. There's a missed shot. Sims gets the rebound. Nice defense by Gabby Posh. And you know what I'm talking about, Dan. You work on drills to say you got to use that left hand. Don't let them. They can block it if it's in your right, but she felt more comfortable, and I can relate to that. There's a near foul. Posh will turn and gun it on his way. It's off no good. Rebound fought for. Sims trying to get it again. Out of bounds this last touch by Hutchinson. Here comes Heffley into the lineup. Moriasi played hard in there. Heffel come back in. So Wilson, Heffley, along with Robertson, Gabby Posh, and Sims. Sims really dragging out there. Here comes the pass. It'll get into Heffley in the middle of the paint. She'll put it up and score it. How about this two-minute stretch by the Hutchinson Salthawks, extending the lead to 10. 40 to 30. Hutch with a 10-point lead with 526 remaining. There's the shot put up and in from the left side on by Arnold. Cuts it back to eight. Timeout taken by Salina South. They want to talk things over with 520 to go in the contest. It'll be a full one-minute break. We'll take it as well. 40-32. Hutch up by eight. We'll be back with right after this one-minute timeout. Pools Plus has all of your swimming pool, hot tub, and outdoor furniture needs. Bright, beautiful, and functional designs by CR Plastics that are sure to hold up against the Kansas weather. Still looking for a hot tub? The 2020 shipments of American Whirlpool and Vita Spas have arrived. And as always, our pre-owned hot tubs are priced to move. Call the professionals at Pools Plus to schedule your pool opening before our calendar fills up. Shop local, shop Pools Plus, 21 East 1st in downtown Hutchinson. Hutchinson High School Sports is on the air thanks to these outstanding Salt Hawk Boosters, Portfolio Recovery Associates, The Shirt Shack, where the shirt hits the fans, Randy Smith of Appalachian Animal Hospital, Ryan and Robin Swanson of Phoenix Restoration, Kathy McCormick of Wynn Insurance Group, Reno Alcohol and Drug Counseling Services, The Hutchinson Clinic, Salon B, I Need a Cleaners, and Jackson Me. Hutchinson High School and Eagle Radio Sports say thank you for your support. Welcome back. 5.20 remaining to go in this fourth quarter of play. Hutch up by 8, 50, 40 to 32 over the Salina South Cougars. You listen to Salt Hawk basketball right here on KWBW Radio, Hutchinson, Kansas. Ball knocked away out of Sims' hands. Actually, she tried to throw it in. It was knocked out of bounds. Otherwise, it would have been a technical foul if it had been knocked out of her hands. Here's Wilson. Back to Sims. They'll split the pair. And Here's Gabby Posh. She'll bring it up and give it to Wilson. Wilson, if you're Hutchinson, take a little bit more time. Set your plays. Don't throw the ball away. Take care of the basketball because you're going to have pressure put on. And give it to Sims over on the right side. Now to Robertson. She'll shoot the shot. No good. Rebound's going to be cleared out of there. And coming up with it will be Salina South. They'll drive it in. Layup good by Peterson. And with four, 40 to with 4.45 to go in the ball game, 40 to 34. That lead cut the six again. Posh this to uh, Robertson. She'll dribble drive to the left side, pulls away. Connor Riley says, make him guard us. Outside, here's Wilson. Clock at four and a half. The six point Hutchinson lead. Gabby thought about it, goes back outside, over to Wilson. Wilson will work it down low underneath. Sims has it. Now back to Wilson. Gives it back outside the three by Tina. Robertson's good. And a 30-second timeout by Hutchison. 43-34, Hutch with the lead. We're going to keep it here on this 30-second timeout. Big-time shot right there by Robertson. There's been a couple other shots that I go, whoa, guys, look at the clock. You work a little bit more time, but... Coach is giving them the green light. 
should be able to do it. With a nine-point lead, now Hutchinson is in a situation. 4.08 to play in the fourth quarter. You have a nine-point lead. This is where you have to take care of the ball and accept layups and free throws. And when you get the chance to go to the line, you got to knock them down. Well, and you can't have the turnover like we had just a little while ago and then coming down and, and, and Peterson being able to just take it down and lay it up, and, and, and you got to have right. stops as well. But right. right now setting pretty good with 43-34 right now, a nine-point lead with 4.08 to go. I will be shocked if Hutchinson doesn't get McKenzie Heffley touches in the post rather than taking outside shots while they have a nine-point lead in four minutes to play. All right, here comes the ball in from south. They'll bring it up. They'll go left side. Here's Hamill had it. The loose basketball picked up by Moriasi. Then out of bounds it goes. It'll be Hudson basketball. Nice job by Moriasi to stick wicket down there. Come up with the basketball. Now's where Hutchinson has to take care of the basketball. Ball in the backcourt. Moriasi gets it across. Gets it over to Tina Robertson. She'll drive it in down low to Hefley. Underneath. Shot up way too strong by Hefley. And South gets the rebound with 3.42 to go. Like the fact that they got Hefley a touch, but McKenzie doesn't necessarily have to shoot it unless it's open. Long three ball, up, bouncing, no good. Big rebound by Tina Robertson, and on her arm was Peterson. That'll be a, a foul on Peterson. That'll be her third. They will send back into the lineup Franco. South Franco comes in. Robinstein will take a seat. Here's Wilson in the backcourt. you got to go. You only have 10 seconds to get it across. And a lot of dribbling going on. Posh has got to go. She's got to go, and she just does get across the, the half court. Ball on the outside. Wilson, and she'll be mugged. And that will be the fourth foul now on Peterson. And she was going for the steal and caught a lot of Wilson in the in the neck for, uh, area as well. So that will be her fourth. Peterson, a player who can score for South. Yeah, that's so a big foul. That that really hurts Salina South. Wilson. There's another one close and coming up with her. They're trying to get over to Moriasi back to Wilson. Spins away, and a foul called, and a push from behind, and that's going to be on Peterson, I believe. Yeah, it's a, that's her fifth foul. The if referee I, was trying not to have a little ticky-tack exactly. one, but uh, there were several contacts, and now Wilson will go to the line to shoot free throws, and that takes, Peterson just fouled out. That certainly removes a weapon from Ryan Stewart's arsenal. Yeah, it really does. For, With 3 to go. With a nine-point deficit. Kind of need Peterson in the game if you're Salina South. It's a one and one for Harley Wilson. Harley Wilson at the line. The deep knee bend, the toss. It's up and off. It's marked no good. Rebound cleared out of there by Franco for South. And here comes South with the basketball. Three minutes to go. They got to kind of get in their offense quick. As time is not an asset for them. The drive inside, a little give and go down low underneath to to uh, Maxton, and long three, shot it missing. Wilson's there for the rebound, and she comes up with it. Harley hanging on to the ball, and finally gets fouled by Franco, and we have a South player down at half court. Holding that left ankle is Maxton, and she is in pain. And head coach comes out to take a look at her. Now the Hudson trainer comes out as well. And... uh, might have twisted or stepped on the side of somebody's foot. And she is holding that left ankle. And they're, they're trying to see if she's able to get up and go to the sidelines or not. And she is really hurt. She has braces mm-hmm. on both ankles. Both, anco- but both ankles. A, a brace doesn't always keep, keep you from rolling an ankle. Especially when you step on the side of a foot. And she will gingerly be carried by the trainer as well as the assistant coach for, head coach that is, for South off, and she's in a lot of pain. Could be a high ankle sprain. 2.41 to go. I think there was a foul called against Lizzie Franco. Yeah, there was. Franco foul called. It'll send Wilson to the line to shoot the free throw. It'll be and, a one and one again. And that's the MO right now for Salina South is uh, try to get this quick score foul if you have to. Send them to the line. Let's see if we can 
get the back and forth working here. Right now we're on time for the next game. Free throws up and good by Wilson. Harley puts it up and in. Back to a 10-point lead again for Hutchison. So she'd missed a couple earlier on. Now she's dialed in. Free throw tossed by the sophomore. Off is marked no good. Rebound's going to be cleared out of there by South, and they'll bring it quickly. Weiss across the half court. They're without Peterson now since she fouled out. Over the left side, Hamill. Hamill on the outside left. A little give and go down low to Franco, and a foul called. But it's only the fifth foul committed by Yeah, it's going to be on Tina Robertson. That is her fourth, however. Here comes the inbound. Shot from outside of three. Won't go. Rebound fought for. Tosh comes up with it. She's fouled quickly. Foul's going to be called on south. It's going to be called on number 11. That'll be Yonda. At the line will be Gabby Posh with 2.20 to go in the ballgame. Gabby Posh is the best free throw shooter on Hutchinson's team. Posh will shoot it up and go and score it. Posh has quite a few points tonight. That's 13. 13, yeah. That's the first point that she has made that has him in a three. That's right. Free throw toss up and bags it. Got him both. Time out's going to be taken by Hutchinson. 2.20 to go in the ball game. Hutch with a 12-point lead, 46-34. We'll be back right after this one-minute timeout. Hutchinson Community College and Blue Dragon Athletics are proud to support Hutchinson Salthawk Athletics. Whether you're working towards your degree or a busy working individual with limited time to attend class, Hutch CC has what you're looking for. And for those still in high school, Hutchinson Community College's Step Ahead program provides a head start on a quality education, and it may not cost the student anything. Visit hutchcc.edu or call 888-GO-HUTCH for more details. And good luck this season to the Salthawks. Welcome to the Hutchinson Medicine Shop. With the emergence of big business, not only in pharmacy, but all industries, the Medicine Shop is proud to be a thriving local business in Hutchinson. We're so thankful to our customers in Hutchinson, Reno County, and Central Kansas for your support. In turn, we're proud to be a major sponsor of the Hutch High Salthawks, as well as other area high schools, the Blue Dragons, Chiefs, Royals, Jayhawks, and Wildcats. You support us. And the Hutchinson Medicine Shop supports local sports. The live action with the basketball will be Salina South. Up top of the key. They'll roll to the left side with the basketball. Holding up, ball, ball on the outer perimeter. Back to a 2-3 zone. Outside, three on its way. No good. Rebound's going to be cleared out of there by Hutchinson as Tina Robertson got the rebound. And Tina will bring it across to half court. Rolls to her left, pulls back a little bit. Gives it off to Harley Wilson on the handoff at half court. Reach in foul called. They're going to whistle this one on Robert's team. That's her third personal, and it's the tenth team foul. Harley Wilson will go to the line and shoot two. 46-34. A couple of free throws here would make it go a long ways. To sealing a win here and getting back in the win column. Free throws up and missing. Hutchinson right now 8-8, eight eight, driving the last two ball games. A chance to get a win here. And you like would, we said coming into it, this was kind of one that was maybe up in the air a little absolutely. bit. Absolutely. Free throw toss. This one's good. She split the pair. 47-34 now. The lead is 13 for Hutchinson. Plenty of points now for Hutchinson. The clock is their friend. Outside with it, South. Stay tuned. Men's boys' action coming up in a little bit. We'll have the the, uh, the senior night awards in between games. So we'll see how quick we can talk to Coach Riley, and then we'll give you an in-depth medicine shop post-game capsule. A minute and 20 to go. Drive inside. They'll kick it out. The three-pointer by Weiss is good. Weiss cuts it down to, again, a 10-point ball game at 47-37, and a timeout taken by South. Will it be a full or a partial? We'll see what the referee. It'll be a 30. We'll get a, a half-minute break coming your way. We'll be back right after this 30-second timeout with Sawhawk Athletics. Like a good deal? Need a new phone? Listen up. 
Trade in your old device at Next Tech Wireless and get half off any smartphone. Then take your shiny new phone shopping with your $100 Visa gift card. That's any smartphone, plus cash to spend. Oh, yeah. Need more lines? No problem. Get a new smartphone at half price for everyone in the family, plus up to $300 in Visa gift cards. Visit Next Tech Wireless today. Your new phone and cash are waiting. Certain restrictions apply. See store for details. Welcome back. Hutchison about to inbound, 47-37. Hutchison with the lead with a minute and 12 to go. Long pass down court. Heffley all by herself. Layup good. Got two of the three points on that three back at least. And it's 49-37. Lead. Somebody missed the cover on the long ball right there for South. They'll drive to the basket. Not there. Hutch comes up with a rebound and a foul called. Oh, jump, jump ball called as Heffley ties it up with Franco. Franco really aggressive when she comes in there and into the lineup now checks Salina South's three-point shooter Hamill. And she could shoot as well. Here comes the inbound. Ball comes out way out high and into the hands now. Goes to Arnold. She'll drive it in. Kicks it back to Hamill. She'll launch the three. It rattles off no good. Rebound Sims and a quick foul. This one's going to be on Franco. And we'll go down with 44.9 seconds to go. Hutch will shoot free throws, and this is going to go in the win column for the Saldock ladies. And they needed that, the way the last two have went, and trying to get a, a score from Garden City, and I'm not having any luck on it, Dan, so we'll just have to see. If I remember tonight, is, is Garden playing Hayes tonight? They possibly might, so I might try to go that route. Free throws by Sims is up and good. I think you're correct. As Sims goes to the free throw line, she'll shoot the second one. Free throw toss by Sims as rims out on her, no good. And back to, again, the 13-point lead south with the basketball inside the 35 seconds. Give and go underneath. Franco does not score. Rebound by Hefley and a foul call to reach in on Franco. She's kind of a designated fouler right now, sophomore, I mean a junior, and that'll be her third personal. And at the line will be Hefley to shoot the free throw. One of those rare nights where the sophomores get recognized, but then they get to come back home and play yeah. again at home on Monday. Free throws up and missing. Not designated that way because of the makeup game. We were supposed to be traveling to campus, but we moved that game to Friday. Free throws both of them missing by Hefley. The rebound cleared out by South. 30 seconds to go. Ball on the outside, three-pointer off and missing. Rebound Sims. Sims has done a nice job on the boards tonight. And Hutchinson with pressure in the backcourt. Let's see if they'll wave him back or not. Here's Sims. And the coach saying, just just hold on to it, guys. Play it out front. Ball on the outer perimeter. And that's going to do it. That's going to do it. It's your final. Hutchinson 50. Salina South 37. Hutch Salt Hawk ladies sweep Salina South this year with an overtime win up at Salina earlier in the back in January. And right here they get a nice win, 50 to 37, and go to 9 and 8 on the season. We're going to take a two-minute timeout. At, actually, we're going to take a one-minute timeout, catch up with Coach Riley here. We'll be back. 